Hello, Cyphus community. Welcome back to another World Tanks console video. So, in this video, I'm going to be driving the UDEDS 1516, the tier 10 Swedish medium tank. On. I forgot what this map is called. It'll come back. Arctic Region, that's what it's called. So, I'm going to go right and try to use my gun depression because also. When you use your gun depression in this thing, it really maximizes your armor. As you'll see, when I get hold down, or not even hold down, just hiding my lower plate, you'll see how effective the armor can get. So, now let's talk about the gun. It's a 12 centimeter gun. It fires 5.22 rounds per minute that does 440 damage per shot. It's the same gun that's on the Emil 2 and the Kronwagen. And its penetration is 254 on its standard, 310 on its premium, and 60 on its high explosive. It has a DPM of 2,297. It carries 40 shells. It also has a potential damage of 17,600. It has an accuracy of 0.38 and an aim time of 2.2 seconds, which I think it's better when you go into siege mode okay your turret armor is 100 at the front 40 at the sides and 20 at the back so it doesn't sound like great but is really angled and it a lot of people will just bounce off you so your whole armor is 50 at the front and 50 at the sides and 30 at the back and you have 1,950 hit points. Your concealment is 32% stationary and 24% while moving. Engine power, you go 50 forward and 24 backwards. You have a power to weight ratio of 19.06. Your gun depression is 13 degrees and gun elevation is 25 degrees. And I think that's about all I want to say about this tank. Also, you have a view range of 390 and signal range of 850. So, that, it seems like the only thing I want to talk about. So, basically, this tank has the Swedish uh, tier 8, tier 9, and tier 10 Swedish medium tanks have the same siege mode mechanic as the tank destroyers of. Sweden tank destroyers of 8, 9, and 10. But on the Swedish tank destroyers, you gotta activate the siege mode by hitting a button. But on the Swedish mediums, you gotta activate it while driving below a certain limit. And I if I remember correctly on the tier 10 Swedish medium, the tank I'm driving, you need to be going lower than 24. It's 24, I think it is. Also, when I want to mention that while you're in siege mode, you can't put on auto drive. But as soon as you go into like a drive mode, you can put on auto drive. Okay, now let's actually talk how I got this tank equipped. I got a gun rammer, vertical stabilizers, coed optics, and for my crew, I have. Oh, wait, that's not the crew. This is the crew. I have firefighting, snapshot. Camouflage, Repairs, Smooth Ride, Brothers in Arms, Mentor, Six Sense, and its Training Swimming Lessons. And that's about it. So, also you can get the reload really far down. Especially if you put the crew vents and, um, what the heck, uh, Nation's Consumable on it. And you can get the reload really far down and probably get that DPM up. To about 25 maybe 2600 if I didn't things right you're gonna have a really good reload but you don't drive the UDS 1516 for the reload for the I mean not for the reload you don't drive it for the DPM you drive it because the high alpha is damaging gun at 440 I know there's other tank other medium tanks out there like the Audrey 430U, the 121, and a couple other medium tanks, I believe, that have the same alpha, or maybe even higher. I mean, you got the high alpha, which is 440, and you also get the siege mode, 
which is pretty unique. It's only found in Sweden, so it's a unique game mode. And I really thought you could actually go this way, because there's no rocks here, but... Invisible Wall said no. So, yep. Anyway, I'm also trying to shoot this artillery, that, and my gun depression won't allow me. So, yep. But anyway, um... So yeah, you drive this tank for the 440 Alpha, and you drive it for the Siege Mode. That's basically what you drive this tank for. And I also want to mention that you have 50 millimeters of frontal hull armor and 50 millimeters of side hull armor. So that means anybody that has any tank that has a gun over the caliber of 150 millimeters will overmatch your armor. Okay. It will overmatch your armor. It's got to be 151 millimeters of uh, caliber. 151 millimeters of caliber. 150 millimeters of caliber won't overmatch it. It's got to be 151. So not a lot of tanks out there have like over 151 millimeters. So most tanks you can actually just sit in front of it and just use your like angled armor to bounce them. But you also got to remember, also, I want to say this, that your turret armor will never get overmatch. But you do have cupolas that will get, like, shot. They're not that big. They're not that big. But they're 160, 160 millimeters. Okay. But they're flatter. It's 160 millimeters of armor, which is stronger than your turret armor, but they are little bit flatter not at a great angle left to your turn armor but anyway so we just got a victory right there on arctic region yes it was arctic region we made 58,000 silver did 4,891 damage assisted 1,707 and we got our armor to work for us and bought 2,330 damage and we got top of leaderboards all right guys if you like to very Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to slash fish because one would be not. And peace out. See ya.